You are in a hospital room with a hospital gown. Are you scared? Are you gonna be tough? Yeah. We are now in the emergency room. Um, and we don't know what's gonna happen yet, but we are in our own, our own hospital room and we are gonna see what they are gonna do to get this rock out. Guys, this has been a crazy, crazy day. Yeah, wow. So that's the rock right there. Here is the rock. Oh, wow. You see it? Well, that's the rock right there. That's a big rock. It's a big rock. <laughs> I don't know how you got that down. When I was walking up, I heard the nurses talking about it. Guys, all the nurses here at the emergency room are talking and they've never seen anything like this. Like everyone's kind of, this is new for everyone. <laughs> no one really knows what is gonna happen. What do they have to do? So I'm anxious to talk to the doctor and see what they think they need to do to get this rock out. Hi Anderson party. We have kind of an interesting vlog today. First story time. We were watching a movie last night with my mom and dad and Cody decided to put a not so small rock in his mouth and nobody knew. And he was sucking on the rock and apparently started choking. We are all watching a movie and when you choke, you don't make any sound. And he didn't let anyone know. He didn't turn around to show me that he was choking, nothing. So he was sitting down by my feet and we were watching the movie and I had no idea that he was choking. He showed no signs of choking. Um, but this guy, <laughs> ah. um, decided to scream. scream randomly just to scare everybody, I guess. And it worked. Um, it scared everybody and I jumped. And when I jumped, um, Cody was in front of me. So I kind of like, kicked him a little bit when I jumped and then all of a sudden we're all laughing at Joel's random outburst that he had for no apparent reason and somehow that outburst that dad had made it possible for Cody to um, get the rock out of his throat and into his stomach is the only explanation we can find that that's how it happened. So, I saved his life. I'm glad he screamed. At first we thought his scream made him choke. Um, but then Cody, after he was done crying, he was able to explain to us that um, he was choking before dad screamed. And then, um, and then once he screamed, it, it went down the rest of the way. All right, guys, wish us luck. I hope everything's okay, and I hope they can figure out and get this rock out. Get it off, Cody. Yay. Shake it, shake it. I had to get the extra way. Guys, they get a look in Cody's stomach and see yeah. where this rock is. And if the rock is stuck, we're gonna go to the emergency room, and they're gonna have to get it out, so. Let's see what the x-ray says. We get a hide behind this, Cody. But I can see you. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Hold real still, they're gonna take a picture. I think it's taking it right now, Cody. Be still. That was easy, huh, Cody? <laughs> Good job, bud. What were you expecting it to be like? A big square and you could stand in front of it and it shows your bones? Is that what you thought? Yeah. That's only in cartoons. Okay guys, so we've been waiting here for a long time. They came in and said that they see the rock in his stomach through the x-rays um, and that they are so shocked about how big the rock is and they can't believe that he was able to swallow it and I don't know what they're gonna do. And they don't know what they're gonna do. The doctor is going to call a specialist um, that deals with this kind of stuff to figure out what needs to be done to get this rock out. I am a little nervous. Me too. And so is Cody. Take, don't take me home and get me to bed. You just wanna go home and go to bed? Sweetie, that's not gonna happen, okay? Okay. okay. 
gonna be okay. You're so tough. Give me five. Yeah. Okay, Cody. Guys, we are heading to the emergency room. This is where they're sending us now. And this kid is really, really scared. He just wants to go home. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. You want to try again? Whoa. All right. I'm going to put them on your chest, okay? I have to put one here, one here, and one down here, okay? Do you want to listen to your heart? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be cool. Watch. You hear your heart? Okay, guys. Cody's starting to freak out a little bit. You getting nervous? Huh? Don't cry. Mommy's going to hold you, okay? They may want to watch it for a day or two and see if it comes out by itself, but with close monitoring, you know, uh -huh. repeat imaging and stuff to make sure that it's moving along. Right. Um, but I'm not sure what the doctors at primaries will say. Right. They may tell you that you need to come down and they may need to go away and get it. Right. <laughs> Guys, the funniest thing just happened. Joel started acting really, really concerned. He goes, Brandon, what is Cody doing? What is he doing? And he was panting. He was laying on the, laying on the bed going. <laughs> and Joel started panicking and he said, Brandon, what is he doing? What is he doing? And I said, he's trying to see the numbers change. <laughs> he was clearly trying to see those numbers change. Cody is crazy. <laughs> That's really funny, guys. We just saw the x-ray. And that rock is huge. And it's no longer in his stomach. It is now in the small intestine. They're going to talk to Primary Children's Hospital. And I think they're the ones who make the deciding um, ruling. They're going to look at it, the x-ray, and see if, that, if he needs to get it taken out right now. Or if they're going to wait to see what happens. But he did say it was going to be a painful process of it going down in there so either they're going to try to let it pass and see what happens or um cut him and surgically remove it so that's where we're at right now yeah wow so that's the rock right there Here is the rock. oh wow you see it or well, that's the rock right there that's a big rock it's a big rock <laughs> I don't know how you got that down. So we are waiting for the doctor to come in and Cody's getting a little nervous. He's starting to cry a little. He said he just wants to be with his brother and sister. The waiting He's is the worst. He's got some real tears. He's starting to get scared. And we haven't eaten dinner. And so he's so hungry. So we're hungry also. But we can't eat until um, we find out what Primary Children's Hospital wants to do if they need to do surgery or if they're going to just have him try to pass it through himself is the waiting the worst part especially when you're hungry huh <laughs> it's okay he's a strong kid and he's gonna get through this i know it i mean the kid just swallowed a rock <laughs> that's pretty impressive <laughs> just getting a little nervous Oh, just the unknown, I guess. Just the unknown and the not knowing. Huh. Do you, do you have, this, this is your ticket home, so you're good. <gasps> Cody! So listen up for a minute, okay? <laughs> Who scared you? Did mom scare you? No way, Jose. Did that scare you? It's nurse no. no. Was that rock tasty? Oh, no. Did you guys see the rock? Or? I did. You did? Okay. Yeah. Man, yeah. I, I still will I just never didn't know he understand. was putting it in his mouth. <laughs> I'm just impressed he swallowed it. Uh, me yeah. too. He was choking for a while. Yeah. I just didn't know it. Man, you'll never do that again, will you? You will? <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> you won't do that again. <laughs> you can't chew it. It doesn't go in your mouth. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, a couple things. Um, I spoke with the Primary Children's Hospital, their GI specialist. Okay. Um, so they reckon, and, and the reason I called them is when I measured it on on the uh, X-ray, it was about three centimeters. Mm -hmm. It was actually three point two. Their rule of thumb is anything three centimeters and under will likely pass itself because we worry about this little what we call a sequel junction right around here. 
and that was 0 .2, 0 0.2 centimeters over that limit. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to run it by the specialist. See just what to make think. sure, uh -huh. yeah. Now the fun job is you gotta tell mom and dad every time you poop. And we gotta see if this rock comes out of there. And mom gets a dick through it. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> there shouldn't be much digging. It's big enough that it'll You'll make, probably it'll, see it. It'll, yeah. it'll make a clank when it hits the toilet. Yeah. They want you to follow up with his his primary care. Okay. Have them re-x-ray it. Okay. If it's moved, that's still that's still a good sign. If it's not moving much, then they want you to see a Okay. See you at primary children's and your primary care will handle that. Now, now to Monday, if something worsens, he starts getting belly pain, he starts hurting really bad, you know, don't even go anywhere else except primary children's emergency department. If he starts mm -hmm. complaining. Should, um, yeah, because it, it would be pointless at that point to come here, to go anywhere else except it'll, primary children's. will just send us back uh -huh. or send us there. Yeah. Okay. And then that's, that count, and for some reason, whether it's in the same system or not, that's two ER visits in one day. So, right. Yeah. So Monday's the day that we need to, yeah. hopefully it comes. Yeah. Okay. But in the meantime, something worsens primary children of the ER. Okay. okay. So if something worsens, um, where, where are we headed? Primary. Okay. <laughs> he gave us a test. Well, you're free running up the call. All right. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. So here's your test. What did you learn from this whole experience? Don't eat toys. What did you learn, Cody? Don't eat toys. Don't eat toys. Don't eat rocks. Rocks. <laughs> toys and rocks. You want me to take those wires off of you? Don't put things in your mouth, okay? That's it, right there. Oh, take that mask off. We're free. <laughs> oh, he's throwing that out. He's done with it. I'm done with it too. Good idea. Cody, are you happy you don't need surgery? <laughs> and hopefully it doesn't get stuck. Because if it gets stuck, he's going to need surgery. So we're just going to kind of play it by ear and get him something to eat because we are starving. And we haven't eaten dinner. Huh, Cody? Yeah. <laughs> We're starving. Well, it is super late. So we just got um, Cody and the kids down for bed. And we're going to go to sleep because it is so late. We've been at the hospital for so long. So we're going to get some sleep. And hopefully Cody feels good tomorrow. And fingers crossed, prayers that he will be able to pass this rock on his own when he goes to the bathroom instead of having um, to have more complications or have to surgically remove it. So fingers crossed, like this video to share the love to Cody. We'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody.